Richard, have you ever played the slots? No. Never? Well, oh, yes. Why couldn't you say that? Yes, so why be, could, uh, not anymore because no, I understand. No, 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 I didn't say, no. Did I say, have you ever played yes. the slots? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the tumblers didn't come up with a, any kind of a jackpot, did you think of yourself as a loser? No. Why? Because I know that the slot machine is rigged against me. <laughs> well, okay, but did you think there's any possibility of ever winning? Uh, uh, absolutely, because I did get some, but in other eventually words, ended up with an empty pocket. But in other words, you 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 walked into it with the belief that on any particular time that you pushed the button, that there was a random outcome. Correct. You knew that, right? And so, therefore, you didn't think of yourself as a loser. Correct. Not Have you ever thought of yourself as a loser when you had a losing trade? Yes. And what would be the reason? <laughs> Because I lost. No, because you didn't. Trade. Because you didn't believe that there was a random outcome, sure. right? If you believed, if someone told you from the very beginning that that whatever outcomes that you experience from any methodology that you picked to define an edge were random, would you be thinking about this completely it, differently? It makes a big difference. Absolutely. Yeah. So, in other words, you wouldn't have the same emotional problems that that you might have with the kind of errors and 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 everything else that goes along with trading with fear. If someone would have just said to you, you know what, there's a random outcome. That would Even help. though it's a pattern and it doesn't make sense and it creates a paradox for our minds, we got a pattern that produces a random outcome. If you believe that there was a random outcome, where would the emotions come from? They would go. They would certainly diminish. If not well, they wouldn't away. be. I don't think they'd be anywhere at all, they would, would they? Go away. Yes. No, I'm saying if you just right from the very start, what okay. would you have to associate with? If if it's a random outcome, then you know that you're not wrong, <laughs> right? Correct. So there wouldn't be anything to associate the outcome with any kind of interpretation that, that could end up causing you to feel some sort of emotional pain. You're right. All we're trying to do is get to that place now. Even though you've had all this backlog of experience telling you otherwise, that's where we want to get to. How are we going to get there? We're going to create an exercise. Remember the five-mile rule? Okay, we're going, to do, we're going to do the five-mile rule in a trading exercise. Why are we going to do the exercise? Remember, we have to, be, have to have clarity of intent. What is our desire? Our desire is to become a consistently successful trader, one where I can, I can generate an income I can rely on. Okay? And so we are going to actually trade for a new reason. We're going to stay focused in the process of trading as opposed to the outcome. The typical trader is obsessed with the outcome of a trade. The professional trader is focused in the process of trading and letting the outcomes take care of themselves. As a matter of fact, the best traders that I've ever encountered love the process of trading. The typical trader, on the other hand, either has no awareness of the actual process of trading or really doesn't like the process of trading, but they're addicted to or obsessed with the outcome. Everyone has, I know everyone has had that experience. You've made up your mind with so much desire, so much clarity of intent, and, and with, with absolute sincerity that you got the desired result. So I'm saying that if you make up your mind to trade for a new reason, the reason is the acquisition of skills as opposed to the outcome or how much money you're making, you will acquire those skills and then you'll find that the outcomes just take care of themselves. If you've paper traded or tested your methodology to the point where you have confidence that you have something that can generate consistent results, then you can do this exercise. If you haven't, then you're going to have to do that first. You're going to have to, you're going to have to plan your trades. In other words, you're going to have to take your methodology and determine a given set of rigid variables.